6 Business Ideas That Are Not Advisable To Start From 2024 And To Go These Are Businesses That Are Either Low Profited Or Running Out Of The Market. It Is Never Too Late To Make Extra Cash, Let's Get Started Already. Number 1 Is, Internet Cafes. Starting an internet cafe as a business in 2024 may pose significant challenges due to the widespread availability of affordable and high-speed internet at home. The decline in demand for internet cafes can be attributed to several factors, and understanding these dynamics is crucial for anyone considering entering this industry. The primary reason for the diminished demand for internet cafes is the accessibility of affordable and high-speed internet in homes. With more households having reliable and fast internet connections, people find it more convenient and cost-effective to use their personal devices for internet-related activities. Way people access the internet has evolved, with a substantial shift towards mobile devices and personal laptops. The convenience of accessing the internet on the go has diminished the need for individuals to visit physical locations like internet cafes for online activities. The global pandemic has accelerated the adoption of remote work and online education, further reducing the need for people to visit communal spaces like internet cafes. Many individuals now have the flexibility to work or study from the comfort of their homes. Users often prioritize the security and privacy of their online activities. When using personal devices in the comfort of their homes, individuals may feel more secure compared to using public computers in internet cafes, where concerns about data security may arise. Number 2 is, Print Media. Starting a business in traditional print media in 2024 can pose significant challenges due to the continued shift towards digital content consumption. The decline of traditional print media, including newspapers and magazines, is primarily driven by evolving consumer preferences and technological advancements. Here's an in-depth explanation of why it may not be advisable to start a traditional print media business in 2024. In recent years, there has been a substantial increase in the consumption of news and information through digital platforms. Online news websites, blogs, and social media have become primary sources of information for many consumers. This shift has resulted in a decline in the readership of traditional print publications. Traditional print media heavily relies on advertising revenue to sustain operations. However, many advertisers are allocating their budgets to digital advertising channels, which offer more targeted and measurable results. This shift in ad spending has led to a decline in revenue for print publications, making it challenging for them to remain profitable. The convenience of accessing information instantly on digital platforms has altered consumer habits. People increasingly prefer the accessibility and immediacy of online content, leading to a decline in the demand for physical newspapers and magazines. With a growing emphasis on sustainability and environmental consciousness, there is a push towards reducing paper usage. Many individuals and businesses are opting for digital alternatives to contribute to environmental conservation efforts. Operating a traditional print media business involves substantial costs related to printing and distribution. The expenses associated with paper, ink, and physical distribution make it challenging for traditional print publications to compete with the cost-effectiveness of digital media. Number 3 is, DVD slash Blu-ray rental shops. Starting a DVD slash Blu-ray rental shop in 2024 may present considerable challenges due to the evolving landscape of media consumption. The decline in demand for physical rentals can be attributed to the widespread popularity and convenience offered by streaming services. Here's a detailed breakdown of why it might not be advisable to start a DVD slash Blu-ray rental business in 2024. Consumer Behavior Shifts Consumers today prefer the convenience of streaming services that offer on-demand access to a vast library of movies and TV shows. The shift towards digital platforms has significantly reduced the demand for physical media rentals. Limited Market Potential The market for dvd blu ray rentals has become niche and limited. Many consumers no longer see the need to rent physical copies when they can instantly stream content from the comfort of their homes. Operational Costs and Inventory Management Running a rental shop involves significant operational costs, including purchasing and maintaining a diverse inventory of DVDs and Blu-rays. Managing physical inventory, especially with the risk of obsolescence, can be financially burdensome. Competing with streaming giants. Streaming services, with their vast content libraries and competitive pricing, have become dominant players in the entertainment industry. Competing with these giants as a small dvd blu ray rental business can be challenging. Technology Advancements The rapid advancement of technology has made physical media less attractive. With 4K streaming, high-speed internet, and smart TVs, consumers are more inclined towards digital and high-definition content, diminishing the appeal of traditional DVDs and Blu-rays. Changing Rental Habits 
the concept of renting physical media is becoming outdated as subscription-based streaming models offer unlimited access for a fixed monthly fee. Consumers today prefer the flexibility and variety that streaming services provide. Pandemic-induced shifts. Number four is, traditional retail stores. Starting a traditional retail store in 2024 may pose significant challenges due to the transformative impact of e-commerce and evolving consumer behaviors. The rise of online shopping has reshaped the retail landscape, and understanding the implications of this trend is crucial for aspiring entrepreneurs. Here's a detailed explanation of why it might be challenging to launch a traditional retail store in 2024. E-commerce dominance. The advent of e-commerce platforms, coupled with the convenience of online shopping, has led to a substantial shift in consumer preferences. Shoppers increasingly favor the ease of browsing and purchasing products from the comfort of their homes, diminishing foot traffic to physical stores. Changing consumer habits. Consumer habits have evolved, driven by the digital age and the convenience offered by online retailers. Today's consumers value speed, accessibility, and a seamless shopping experience, which e-commerce excels at providing. Lower overheads for e-commerce. Operating a traditional retail store involves significant overhead costs, such as rent, utilities, and staffing. E-commerce businesses often have lower operational expenses, allowing them to offer competitive prices and discounts that brick-and-mortar stores may struggle to match. Personalized online experiences. E-commerce platforms leverage advanced analytics and artificial intelligence to provide personalized shopping experiences. This level of customization is challenging for traditional retail stores to replicate, making it difficult to compete in terms of tailoring offerings to individual consumer preferences. 24-7 Accessibility Online stores are open 24-7, offering consumers the flexibility to shop at any time. Traditional retail stores are limited by operating hours, potentially losing customers to e-commerce platforms that provide constant accessibility. Rising trends in mobile shopping the increasing use of smartphones has fueled the popularity of mobile shopping. E-commerce businesses optimize their platforms for mobile devices, capitalizing on the growing trend of on-the-go shopping, which is less feasible for traditional retail outlets. Number 5 is, Traditional Photography Studios. Starting a traditional photography studio as a business may face significant challenges due to the rapid advances in smartphone camera technology and the widespread accessibility of high-quality digital cameras. These factors have collectively led to a notable reduction in the demand for traditional photography studios. With each passing year, smartphones continue to evolve, boasting increasingly sophisticated camera technologies. The convenience of having a powerful camera always at hand has shifted consumer behavior towards more spontaneous and instant photography. As a result, individuals are often opting for the convenience of capturing moments with their smartphones rather than scheduling formal sessions at traditional studios. The accessibility of high-quality digital cameras, not just limited to smartphones, has empowered amateur photographers and enthusiasts to capture professional-looking images without the need for a traditional studio setting. As consumers become more adept at using these cameras, they may find less need for the services provided by traditional photography studios, especially for standard family portraits and events. Modern consumers are increasingly inclined towards a more casual and natural aesthetic in their photographs. The staged and posed atmosphere of traditional studios may not align with the current preferences for authentic, candid moments captured in various environments. This shift in taste makes it challenging for traditional photography studios to attract and retain customers. Establishing and maintaining a physical photography studio involves considerable overhead costs, including rent, utilities, and equipment. In a market where demand is decreasing, these fixed costs can become burdensome and affect the overall profitability of the business. It's crucial to consider whether the potential revenue from traditional photography services can offset these operational expenses. Here are just some six, you may consider subscribing to the channel because well we'll cover some extra four failing businesses in the future. Thanks for watching.